I'm going to go to the flow chart over here. This is a QuickBooks desktop flow chart, but we're just looking at the flow of the forms that you can only do that if you're in certain industries. So we talked about on the revenue cycle, for example, if you're going to wait till the money hits the bank before recording revenue, then you're in an industry where you can do that. Possibly gig work or something like that is an industry where you can kind of construct your books from the bank feeds oftentimes. However, sometimes you have to step away from that. If you're in a cash register situation, for example, you might have to first do the data input on your side, use the bank feeds to match. And if you have an accrual component or inventory, which often forces you into some cruel components, then you're gonna have to see how the bank feeds are gonna fit into your accounting system. So for the most part over here, we've basically imagined that we were in an industry where we can put the financial statements together from the bank feeds. And so what we did is we said, when we added the bank feed information, there was nothing in the account transactions. We added the bank side of things. And then in the reconcile tab, we basically had the banking information on the left and we created our financial transactions on the right from that. So now that we've done that, let's go into our reports, looking at the major financial re reports, balance sheet and the income statement, and then a little bit on the sub reports, the other reports that usually give more information about one or multiple line items of these major financial statement reports that have been created. Now, remember the, the use of these financial statement reports if you're in the United States and you're a small business, you're going to need the financial statement reports at the least for tax preparation generally. And if you're a Schedule C business, a small sole proprietorship, you basically need the income statement because that's what the Schedule C form uh, is going to be. So note, you might be saying, well, why do I need to do the accounting software? Because I'm getting this balance sheet. I don't even need the balance sheet to do my taxes or something. <laughs> but remember, you can't really get the income statement to be completely accurate uh, unless, I mean, you could, but you have a lot more internal control and assurance if you do the full double entry accounting system, which means you want the balance sheet as well. And if you're doing